What's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx, and today is none of those. It's Thinky Filler, kind of abstract. Uh, heavy Cardboard does abstracts today, kind of, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'm your host, Edward Euler. Today, we're featuring Dragon Castle, designed by a trio of Italian designers, I think they I are. I believe so, sir. Right? Um, so, I think it's Hallmar Hawk, uh, Luca Ricci, and Lorenzo Silva, and published mm -hmm. by Horrible Games, as well as a couple others. Uh, in fact, one of those is Rebel Games in, in Poland. Just announced their uh, acquisition via Asmo Day. So cool. there's okay. that. All right. Okay. So welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. And again, joined by a very good friend of mine. Tony. All right. So like I said, it's it's Heavy Cardboard Does Abstract Day. So you guys can see, obviously, we have Dragon Castle there. And over in the corner, we have Pyramid Arcade. That's going to be coming on a future stream possibly as soon as February. So we're mm. looking forward to that. It's it's kind of a one of those games where it's got a bunch of games inside one box type thing. Anyways, so Dragon Castle. Yeah. You were you were telling me about this that you love this at two players. Yeah, my wife Robin has an affinity for mahjong. Right. And she's always playing it on the on her computer and and iPad and stuff. And I when I saw this game I was like, "Wow, I have got to uh, acquire this for her." And uh, we played it numerous times, two players, three players, four players, and it's really a fun game. Okay. And uh, for me, especially at two, okay. and then three, and then four. Gotcha. Yeah. Kind of a sliding scale, sliding on, scale on how much you enjoy it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, Tony, this is going to be my first play, so you guys get to learn along with me. That'll be fun. And, yeah, you ready to rock and roll, dude? Let's rock and roll. All right, let's do this. Cool. All right, so Dragon Castle... I will uh, point your attention, Edward and viewers, to this card right here. All right. Because this card describes the three and later four actions that you can do on your turn, okay? Okay. You get to pick one. Okay. That top one is you may take one tile from the top level. Okay. And then an exact matching tile from any level. Okay. So now, it's a little hard for everybody to see, but these six here in the corners are three high this one tile is too, too high. Everything else is one right. level. So, so you're saying we will have to take one from these guys here and then one from somewhere else on, as on that this option. setup. Yes. Right. Okay. So cool. for example, I could take both of those tiles. Okay. Or that tile and that tile. And they have to have one long side exposed. They correct? have to have one long side exposed. Okay. So this tile and this tile will be fine. This tile and this tile. Or, you or, know what I mean? Right. Gotcha. So yep. take one from the top and one from anywhere. Okay. That Where are exact that? matches. Okay. So that's option number one. Right. Option cool. number two is take one tile from the top. Okay. And also take a shrine and add it to your shrine reserve. Okay. Okay. All right. Option three is take one tile from the top. Notice a trend there? Yeah, I am. Always, Always take the first the tile top, from the right? top. Okay. Take one tile from the top. Discard it from the game. You can just go ahead and turn it over. And we'll actually, we'll turn it up something like that so you guys can see it. Sure. Oh, sure, sure. Right. And then take and one then victory take, point. And then take a victory point. Okay. All right. Makes sense. So assuming you did actions one and two, you have two or one tiles to put on your board. Correct. Right? So if you had taken these two, Edward, mm -hmm. you would just put them on your board anywhere you want, into your realm. Okay. So it doesn't matter adjacency, nothing like no. that. Got you it. Put them wherever you would like. Okay. Cool. When you're placing tiles... If you have created a group of four or more tiles of the same color that are all orthogonally adjacent to each other, okay. you're going to, what's called, consolidate that group. Okay, when you say all of the same color, meaning mm -hmm. red? Right. So this is a group of four orthogonally adjacent, correct? That, that would be. So those four would flip over. Okay. You'd score two victory points. Gotcha. And then you'd get to place some shrines. We'll come back to that. Okay, okay. cool. Easy enough. Right. So if you had placed them this way, that is not four 
right? Or orthogonally adjacent. This is right? not for orthogonally adjacent. So yes, there are clever ways to place your tiles so that you could build up a bigger group gotcha. to consolidate, okay? Because you can see the scoring goes up. Hey, if you flip over a group of eight, that's eight points. And then it's an additional point for every group that you get um, beyond eight, okay? So that would break that by that rationale, right? Sure, completely legal. Okay, completely gotcha. legal, but okay. you know that that uh, pink or purple guy is not is red. Is not red. He is not red. Fact. Okay. Cool. Um, so, depending on the color of the tiles that you have consolidated, you get the option to lay one or two shrines from your reserve. Okay, meaning on, over yeah, here, right? Onto the newly consolidated, i.e., flipped over tiles. Okay. So, okay. Here we go. So. so I did that, I would peg two points, or in this case, get two of those, right? Right, right. you get okay. two points. Cool, I did that, so that part's done. So then, if the color you flip over is red, green, or yellow, mm -hmm. you may place one shrine onto okay. one of those tiles. You can't place your shrine onto something you flipped previously. Okay. okay, so maybe I put it like so. Correct. All right, cool. If it's blue or black, place two. two. If it's purple, place two and get a victory point. Right. Here's the, here's the trick to know is of red, yellow, and green, there's 24 each. Okay. Of blue and black, there's 16 of each. And of pink slash purple, there's 12. Oh, okay. Hence why they're more rare and worth more. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, okay. All right. Easy enough. Once you've got a shrine on a tile, hey, you know what? You can't put any more tiles under that, right? <laughs> because now when you take tiles, these count as legal places for you to add more tiles. And, yeah. and thus build higher levels, okay? Yeah. okay? And always, when you're looking for the group of four or more to consolidate, you're always looking at it top down, the view that our, our viewers have. So they don't care whether, so that's three, so, even though this one is, is too higher, high. Correct. Gotcha. Even if it was three high, four high, gotcha. 29 high, don't sure. make one that big. Right, place. yeah, that'd be uncomfortable. Right, so, so the height of that tile does not matter for its gotcha. inclusion in that consolidation group, okay? Pretty cool, all right. Yeah. And yes, you can build higher than three levels, but here's why you may not care to. Because at the end of the game, all of your shrines that are one level high are worth one point, two levels high are worth three, three or more levels high. Three or more, right. that's the hook. Okay, got it. Right. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, um, how does the game end? That, this is the basic game, okay? Okay. The game ends in this manner. When we have when all of the tiles remaining are on the bottom floor only. Okay, so in other words, all of these two levels down and, and that, that guy, one. Right. Got it. When we're okay. down to one level of tiles, these dragon discs become available, and you get this fourth action available to you, okay. which is right. called Summon the Dragon. All right. Sounds, sounds heroin-esque, but probably not, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, I believe that's chasing. Oh, my oh, bad, yes, my okay. bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, cool. So... Um, on your turn, if you'd like to take this action, all you do simply is take this dragon disc and place it into your area. Okay. So, so if I just, had that, I'd put it sure. over here. Okay, cool. And it's worth two victory points at the end of the game, right? When the exclamation point has So been, this is if you take one of these three actions, which right? Mm -hmm. Or is it or this one? Or that one. Okay. That so one's which, only available as the fourth choice when we're down to one floor of tiles. Meaning you, you're not taking any you, tiles, you're just taking that. If right, you can still do the other three actions. Understood. All right. So when the exclamation point is exposed, mm -hmm. that means the game is nearing its end. Okay. And this is a game where we'll designate a first player. Okay. So if we put that there, that means Edward's the first player. Okay, easy enough. And in this case, um, we just want to make sure everybody's got the same number of turns, right? Gotcha. So the player to the right of the star, you know, is the last one to go. So you finish the round, basically. So if if I expose the exclamation point in a two-player game... That would be the end of the game. G-O, game over. Okay. You expose it, I get to go again. Okay, All cool. Right? So we'll put these back here. And uh, there is a stack of these tiles available here too because sometimes one might disappear two might disappear but in like a three or four player game other people want to take them so this is just a supply of them we're oh, probably okay. not going to get well them. why wouldn't you if that were the case yeah. then right sure okay yep so lay those two guys back out there and that's so, it that is it so at the end of the game we're going to score victory points for all of the uh tokens that we've collected right all the okay. vps we've collected um all of the uh dragon discs that we've collected are worth two. We're going to get victory points for our shrines based on their height. And um, 
we're also going to score one other thing. So this is a segue into talking about, that's the basic game. Now okay. we're going to play the quote unquote advanced game. Okay. Where we have a dragon spirit and a animal spirit card in gotcha. the game. Okay. It, you have, uh, is that an octopus? It looks like an octopus, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. An right. octopi. And, and there's a bunch of each of these, so okay. these are just randomly two selected. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Okay. All right. So since we're on the subject of endgame scoring, this dragon spirit card says, "Hey player, pick any row and column on your board, and score one point for each shrine in that row." Okay. Okay. And that, yes, if if one shrine is in both the selected column and row, it, it would count, count twice. Both, yes, both yes. ways, right? Okay. Got it. And then the octopus gives us a really cool special action we can do any point in, in addition time, to these right on, okay. and in any point in time in our turn so the way these work are if i want to do that i have to sacrifice something i can sacrifice either a shrine from my reserve or a face-up tile from my realm oh interesting so maybe you place something oh in hindsight i should have placed that differently this is a way to do that so i, I could give up this tile putting it out of the game uh-huh to take this action. And what this action is, it allows you to break um, one of the rules. So the rule is when you take two tiles, the first one's from the top, the second one from anywhere, that's an exact match. Okay. In this case, if you exercise this action, this special ability with that, you can take the tile um, of the same color. It doesn't have to be an exact match, only a color match. Yeah. So, for instance, it could be this and this, right? Because those don't match. Got it. Right? Okay. As long as there's cool. a long side available, right? Okay, cool. All right. Is that it? Um, yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll. All good, right. Good so, tactical. Would you like to be first? The marker's by you? Yeah, or sure, would you like me to be not? first? No, no. Whatever. All so, right. I'll bring up the well, chat. Just one Oops. other quick thing. Hold on. Yeah, chat's acting up. Yeah. Chat is on. acting up. Yeah, I'm going to have to take it down for a minute. So give me a second. I'm going to have to actually okay. figure Oh, no. Uh, what did I do with that? Oh, it's up there. I can talk Hold on while they're... Uh, yeah, go ahead. That? Okay, cool. Because, like, this game comes with a two-player, three-player, and four-player board that is printed on the board with a default setup of tiles. But in the, in the rules, they come with all these other optional maps. So the one that Edward and I are playing is right here. It's called the Pillars of Creation. So we're playing a, a fancier map than the default maps. Cool. These All are right. pretty fun. And like Robin and I have even converted a couple of traditional Mahjong maps. Oh, that's cool. To this All as right. well. And so uh, it's a lot of fun. All right. I got to have an issue sure. with uh, the joy of All beta right. software here. Uh, so bear with me, guys. I'll keep talking. All right. Uh, one question that sometimes people have is, is this a Mahjong set? It isn't. There's only 116 tiles in here, and um, I'm not a big Mahjong expert or anything, but I understand there's a lot more tiles in Mahjong sets. And there's different quantities, I guess, too. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And this but 116 is, is not enough. It's Americanized Mahjong. It's not traditional Mahjong, it's a, it's right? It's enough tiles to play this game. No, no, no. I'm saying the Mahjong that you and I think of as Mahjong is not the actual Mahjong oh. game, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a Mahjong pro. Hold on. Wait. Uh... Yep. That's cool. Good. So one thing to think about when you're laying tiles on your board is not only trying to be greedy and, and not have to flip over groups of four, right. <laughs> you know, unless that's what you want to do because you're trying to do some stuff, is... Um, yeah, right. Exactly, Boris. So Boris, hold, the joy hold, of Amanda not being hold there. Hold on. Yep, I'm going to have to do she it She is here. Yeah, well, she is, but she's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today's her day off from her day job. Yeah. She works four tens. So give me a second. Sure. So, so. sometimes um, players like to look at the purple and the blue and the black tiles because they're in fewer quantity. They're in shorter supply. And you can lay more um, shrines down when you flip those over. Sometimes people like to put those on the first layer, but like really you want to lay those on the second or third layer, I think, because when you get to lay more shrines, hey, it works. They're there worth more points when they're higher. I like to lay a foundation, uh, okay. if you will, of of those three basic colors. Okay. The red, the green, and the Got gotcha. those up there. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, good deal. All right. All right, so I guess I'm going first. Yeah, so there those are your actions. And we all start with one shrine. One right? shrine All right. in your supply. So 
Cool. All right. So I did notice these are similar, not exact. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some of the purple slash pink dragons are tricky to look at, too. Oh, this is like an S, and that's kind of, oh, mm. I see that, or yeah. a double S. Or, mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Okay. But the rest are pretty basic. So you take two or one. Right. So one thing is I always like to have two or three shrines. Right. Plus, I like to have some extra tiles for doing this fancy action, mm -hmm. whatever it might be in the game. So there's no harm in taking one. Got you to get additional <laughs> shrines. Right. And right. in this setup, we might end up taking some ones here. Um, of course, there's no harm in taking two. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take two, though. All right. So we'll go ahead and start out with a solid base of red. See Again, they, they don't have to be adjacent, but, you know, yep, why not yep, keep yep. those together? Cool. All right, then. I am going to do... So real quick, yes, before sir. you go. So I'm curious, real quick, for those watching... YouTube seems like it's acting a little wonky on our end, so you guys let us know. Everything look and coming through okay for you guys? Give us a clue on that if you would, but go ahead. Cool, right on. Uh, the kid here is going to rip this tile and this tile. Okay. All right. And we'll just, uh, we'll just whatever. Okay. Since we're both after red, maybe I'll not get too greedy. Sometimes I might just do like that. Oh, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Obviously, once a tile's there, it's there forever. Yeah, I, I assumed. Yeah. Um, so this one's a little trickier here. No so, issues. Everyone's, no? everyone's okay. reporting good All right, things. cool, good. All right. So I'm actually going to start. I'm going to try something. Sure. So the S-Dragon and the S-Dragon. Mm, putting purples on the bottom row? Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see yeah, how it goes. Yeah, you never we'll know. See. You never know. All right, then. And now Tony can't see this. He actually has to look at the screen to see what one this <laughs> yeah. is because it's actually That's, that's what's neat about down. this, yeah. <laughs> um, All right, cool. Thanks, guys. And welcome. I, I'm, yeah, I'm seeing interesting. new names that I don't recognize from good, previous good, streams. That's, good. that's exciting. I'm going to take cool. this single red tile. Okay. I'm going to put it way over here. And as is my right when taking one, sure. I'll grab a fancy shrine. Cool. So groups of four. Or minimum. more. Right, 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 as a minimum. Hopefully I, more. Right, fair enough. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. There's three yellows. Yeah, there's a bunch of greens I see that yeah, are that are yeah, available. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't want to go too crazy with, uh, with different colors. So I think I will go ahead and take one. Go too crazy. <laughs> there, and take a shrine. And I like how they did this. Like, they're grippable right here. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> Not even after you put it back in the box. Yes, exactly, no. right? You have to glue them to the box. I'm going to take another single. It's going to be... Mm, see, if you I take, go, if I go take this one, get it frees up these for you. Yeah. So, like, Why these are some of these that? tactical yeah. things, you know? So like, you should do that. So I'm going to tell you what. If I take that, I will take this. Oh, I can't. I got to take from the bottom I, row. No, top or row. Or top row. Top right. row, right. So here, I'll take this single. Uh-huh. And yes, another shrine. Thank you. Seems kind of short-sighted and selfish. Because I, I have an idea. I have a plan. Uh-oh. I can't wait to get my paws on this game. Curtis Cushman. All right. Cool. Good. Good yeah. deal. It's a fun game, man. Hmm. Filler. Must be on the top level. So just to be clear, so right now these two are three levels high. These are two levels high. Yes. So my question then is, once if all the three levels go away, then that this is, being the second level, that is now the top high. level. Okay, yeah. got it. Cool. All right. Very cool. Hmm. So I'm looking, and and again, I want to try and keep it reasonably. I don't want to have too many colors, right? Uh, oh, snap. Got it. Here we there, go. Sometimes these dragon tiles mm -hmm. allow you to score extra points on face-up tiles where colors matter. So sometimes the way the game, the way you place your tiles and what you select could depend on these on these cards if, if you're using this variant. Gotcha. So you took two purples. So top level there, second level oh, there. Okay. Two purples. You consolidated a group of four. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. If uh, I, oh, hold on. That's right. That's a good point. Hold on. So I'm looking out There's here. only 12 of those. Oh, the greed. Right? 
Son of a... This is the original version. I bought it from Italy. Okay. Cool. I would imagine they look the same, too. Okay. I didn't know. Wow, that's two Simon games in two weeks. If mm. that's the case for us, that's unlikely. Yeah, I got this right from um, an Italian distributor. Okay. You know what? At, at Essen Time. Mm. You know, here, we're going to do this. Done. All right, cool. Okay. All right, so uh, Edward's not going to let me do what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and use the octopus power. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to take this tile off my board mm -hmm. and flip it over. So it doesn't matter that you have X discarded no. or it's just a yeah. discard. The right? rules say put them next to your realm. <laughs> yeah, cool. cool. All right. Um, so I'm, I can take one from the top and then one of the same color, but not an exact match from any level, right? So that and that, for instance, well, or... Or uh, that or I, and that. Oh, that's uh, dirty. Yeah, and I'm gonna put them here. <laughs> so I got a group of five, I'm gonna go ahead so, and consolidate. Three points. So here's the fiddly part. This game gets fiddly when you're consolidating stuff, but I don't mind. And I have the option of placing a, a shrine on there. One, because it was red, right? Yes. Okay. It's only worth a point at the end. I'm going to decline that option at this point in time. Hmm. Interesting. Even though row and column, huh? Yes. Greed. Look at greed is good. <laughs> greed I is right. good. Okay. If this was a three-player or a four-player game, I'm going to get less of these tiles, so I might more strongly consider placing a level one. Fair point. All right. So I will go ahead and take this guy. Uh, yeah, you know what? You can have it. You've already consolidated. Yeah, but so, oh, oh, it revealed exactly. us. Right? <laughs> Those daggers are hiding everywhere, man. So I'm going to put it right oh, here. Oh, Lord. And I will take a shrine. There you go. Okay. There you go. Greed is good, I hear. Greed is a good thing. Oh, look at these two blue ones. That guy and that guy. Yeah, it's, and there's another one right here, too. Oh, man, I love it. Let's go ahead and take these two. I support this. And we're going to... We're going to start stacking up. Okay, which, again, it's just looking yeah, top down exactly. is all that matters. So My blue ones are on the works. second level. Got it. All right, well, I will. All right, so now, now, will he consolidate or yeah, will he I go think, for the green? Nah, I think six is good. All right. So six of these is going to be worth a nickel. There you five go. Five points. There you Hashtag go. good teacher. So there we go. And Flip more. Uh, then I can place one shrine, and I will, unlike you. Okay. Not be so greedy. So greedy, says the guy who has four purples that didn't consolidate. So I will go ahead and place that puppy right there. All right. Done. Right smack in the middle. Yep. Hey, it All seemed right. like a good place for an intersection. Sounds like a right. sounds like a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and continue the greed fest. I'm curious as well, Shane. We'll see how it goes. Is there any matching greens? Boy, there's there's not, huh? Um, there's this one. That one's buried. That one would be nice, and I'll free that one up for somebody soon, won't I? Hmm. I thought there was earlier, but maybe maybe not. Maybe it's goner. Yeah. It's a goner. Hey, you know what? I guess we're taking one. That and a shrine. And a shrine. Hey. And we're going to place that yonder on the second level. Okay. Ah, oh, got to take from the top level, Eddie. Got to take from the top level. Got it. All right, well, let's go ahead and do this. I'll take that yellow, and I'll take that one, that one being from the top level. Yep, yep. So here, ah, yes. there we go. Okay. Cool. All right, uh, I'll grab these greens that you didn't yep, uh, yep. snag onto. It becomes a lot more tactical, I would think, with less players, right? In a sense that it's, there's less chaos. Correct. Right. With three, there's just a tad more. Mm -hmm. With four, eh. Got it. I like it with two. I like it with three. Okay. Uh, Oops, sorry. Oh, Getting man. excited. Let's get totally greedy. Oh, my God. All I right. don't know what I'm doing. Are you serious? Really? Yeah. Why, you're planning on getting greens all through there, are That's you? That's okay. kind of the, yeah. the dumb plan. So here we go. I'm going to go <laughs> one here. And it's one from the second It's greed, level. baby. It's greed. Yeah. There. And you could have taken them both from the top. Understood. If you okay. Sometimes I learned it by watching you. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when you take one tile, it frees up the tile next to it. Yeah. You know, yep, so. yep. All right. Well, I guess I'm. Uh, 
all in on green here, aren't I? So sure, let's take this one. It's only one, so it's a shrine. And you know what? I got a great idea. Let's put that tile back for a second. Okay. I have a surplus of shrines. It does appear so. I think I want to use this. Okay. And I'm going to pay a shrine. Oh, instead of a tile. And I'm going to take this and anything free that is, is the same color. same color. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. Oh, that that actually, as long as you have surplus shine of something, it does. It gives you a little bit, a lot of, quite a bit actually, of flexibility yeah. there. Then and okay, like I said, there's like twelve or so different ones of these, and got it. They're all pretty interesting. Same with the dragons. Okay, so I'm gonna go a three and three here. All right, I'm gonna go one there, uh, and I'm gonna go. Oh shoot! Yes, Hold yes. on, Hold you're on. about to experience the fiddle. Hold on. Drop it in the middle. And I will go right oh, there. Oh, the greed. The greed is strong with this oh, one. The greed. So will that, hold on. Will that work? Wait, <laughs> will that work? <laughs> no, hold Two on. tiles closes hold it on. all off. You laid the threes. No, yep. So hold on. So if I... That would be a four as well. Edward needs to get on green now. There's <laughs> uh, no green on top now. See this yellow... These three tiles and these two tiles are the only thing on the top right now. Hold on. I did that. Give me a second. Let me work my way through this. Sure. Got it. Done. Uh, it's the greed. The greed. <laughs> greed is strong. The greed. <laughs> All right. So I can't get any more green. So uh, we're going to rock some Lello. No, there's no need. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take one for now and get that shrine back. I'll just throw it over here for no particular reason. <laughs> just to get it out of there. Uh, you know what? I'll change my mind. I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So now, select one and get a shrine. All right. So there, and I will go ahead and place it right oh, here. Oh, continues with the massive greed. <laughs> All right. There's still no green. Yeah, there is. It's right here. Yeah, yeah. You could take the both those. Oh, no, you can't. That's the second no, level. Yes, That's right. Yes. Ooh. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's get some blue going. Okay. So I'm going to take this yellow tile oh. and spend it. Oh, that, that's so gross. And so Wasting I'm going to take these. this blue and say this blue. So one from the top and a color that matches, right? Oh, because you use the because octopi. Because I use that. Yeah. So I'm going to do this. And this, so that's and a group of four blue. That would be, so that would be two points for you, sir. So I'm going to give them the flippy flippy. Right here. Turn that in, get a five. There you go. Thank you. Turn in the three. Yep. Uh, and then I could throw two shrines out. Oh, let's go for it. Right here Is it, and right here. Is there a limit to number of shrines on a mat? Uh, one, two, three, no, four, No, five. no, no, <laughs> no. He's like, no. No? no. Okay. No. All right. There you go, Crystal. All right, well, you let me have it, so I will do it. So here's a six from the second level and a six from the top level. Excellent. And watchy here. Yeah, all right, big group, big group. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that looks <coughs> like that's going to be nine points. It is. Take three threes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Color. Yeah. It's pretty, this one. It is pretty. It's there like Christmas. Go. Right? Seriously. And you get to flip those over, and you may optionally place Uno Shrino. Right, and I, I shall. Which is not So Chinese. this is kind of a pain in the butt. That's what I mean, yeah. like by the fiddle. That's yeah. the fiddle. Especially as they become more levels. Yeah, yeah. But I've I decided I, was pretty I will force myself not to mind, because okay. I enjoy the rest of the, the game. The, the rest of the game yeah. got you in spite of that. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering if our 18xx suction cups I, you know, I, would I, one, would pick these up. I keep, I, every I, time I play, I think that, and right, I never and go get and mine. Then forget. <laughs> right. So I will actually go ahead, and I'll place. Oh wait, that's not one of them. It's got to be on, it's one, of be on ones. one of the one of the yellows. Okay. So here, there you go. Right there. Yep. Done. Yep. Cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It, that that's a little. It's hard to tell, so that's why we're trying to. Uh, <laughs> Trying to vocalize that. Sorry about that. Here we go. There. Okay. Put. There you go. There you go. Okay. Cool. Um, well. So we're trying to vocalize. So right now, just to be clear, this pink, purplish, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. and this one are the only two mm -hmm. left for level three. 
I'm going to take the pinky. I'm going to put it right yonder. And get a shrine. Get a shrine. Well, that limits my options. Uh, are there any more thunderbolt storms, some thunderstorms there? Oh, there are. Yeah. Do I want to start black? I don't see a reason why not to. I still got a couple of shrines. You could, so I'll go. you could always throw it away for a victory point. I could. There. So I will go ahead and go one, two. Hmm. Interessant. Okay. Is there green available? Yes. Look, these two match. Higher and lower level. Yep. So let's let us relieve the board of them. Shall and, we? Okay. So everything now. This corner. These four are two levels high. These five, these three, and that four. Okay. So I've got a, a group of uh, seven here. So that is worth six points. So here, I'll, I'll get me a traffic light, too. A five and a one. Oh, that, that's a good point. Actually, if you're going to place a shrine, you can just place it on an unflipped one. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It becomes less fiddly. That's true. And this way, you don't forget what you just flipped over. That's really uh, Altefer. El Altefer? I think so. Tefal. I'll put that shrine so, there. Okay, cool. All right. Because it's green, so I can. There you go. On. Right. Exactly. All right. All cool. right. So now, I I, can't, I don't know if this is clear. It, they look identical on the screen, but in person, this one is like thicker, the painting. But I imagine those are identical. Oh, right? these? Oh yeah. yeah, they're identical. Okay. So if that's the case, you know what? One. Two mm. from the top level, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I will go one there, and I will go one there. No fours yet over there. All right. Nope. Well, let's see. There's a lot of those out there, and I imagine with more experience, you you start playing the other player's game more so than just your own. Because I'm well, you definitely want to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, right. at the other guy or gal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Earl Grey today. Earl Grey. And I am going to take these two ding-dang snowflakes. They're both mm -hmm. on the upper level. Yep. Because they need to live right about, I'd say, here I support and here. this, just here FYI. Here. Yes, yes. Okay, so... <sighs> My ritual Starbucks. I see no reason not to. So I will go one there from the bottom level and one here from the top level. All right. Those being the same. And now what? Is he going to do it? Yeah. All right. So it's a group of six? It is. So six here is going to be a five-pointer. Here you go, sir. And it allows me to place two shrines. And it's purple, so you get another victory point. Good point. It is. Good point. The vic good victory point. Good victory point. There we go. Here, keep the stoplight theme going. Oh, that's really... There we go. Hammered looking. Yeah, whatever. Stoplight. <laughs> All right, so I can place two anywhere, right? On those purples that you're about to flip. Cor correct, correct. So you know what? I will... Here, we'll go one there. We'll go one there, and that's less I have to flip. There you go. All right, so I will continue with my turn. Talking about my, my turn. turn. My Let's turn. Ah, uh, the greed. Let's go for some greed, shall we? There's a blue leaf here and a blue okay. leaf here. Leave me alone. And uh, we will put them uh, here for one of them. <laughs> yeah. Here for another. Okay. I think that looks mm. reasonable. And the octopi says it's got to be one that you throw away that's face up, not throw face Throw away down. a face up or right. a shrine from right. your reserve, which, which you have I none. have none. Right. So, with that being the case, I will go ahead and get rid of a level 2-5. Well, blah, blah. Or face up well, well, hold on. I'm taking one to get a shrine okay. so that, yeah. yeah, I'm thinking ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, so actually, I will go, I'll place it right there, and boom, done. Dude's right. got a shrine. Yeah, you're going to be stopping here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Well, let's go ahead and spend this purple on the octopus. <laughs> Boy, I'm using that a lot. Right, yeah. you yeah. are. All right, so he's out of here. Because I want this blue and any other blue that's a legal thing. Retrieval. Yes. Yeah. And I'm going to stick them nice. here. So that's a sixer. That's a six popper. All right, good job. And it's blue, so you may place up to two shrines, Oh, sir. And, and the kid will. He's going to put them up here. Yep. That makes sense. And they're three high on his board. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So I have a two high and all one highs on the rest of those. These are twos. These are threes. Okay. Now I'm out of shrines. So now I'm going to use the octopi, I all believe. Right. I believe. Let me double check. I believe. I am not going to use the octopi. All check right, that. sir. So instead, I will take this from the top level and I will take that one. From the bottom level. All right. A couple of sunny clouds. Yep. Is that an oxymoron? Ooh. That looks like six to me, sir. It does. It does. And, ooh. Do, oh, wait. The greed. Okay. Hold on. Nope. Can't do it because I don't have enough shrines. Now, I could oh. do it. I choose not to. That is correct. You could get only one shrine out there. So uh, I'll do that and I'll do that, All sir. All right. All right. So back to me. I yes, need sir. to get some. I need to get some shreen A's. So let's grab one green, and let's place it here, and let's grab a shrine. All right. Okay. And I am going to. Mm, not so fast, my friend. I will take this five mm -hmm. and a shrine. Mm -hmm. And the five, since. I've bisected this. I will go ahead and place that <laughs> yeah. guy right there. All right. I guess we'll grab another green. We'll place it yonder in a shrine. Hmm. All right. So now, now's a good time. So I will go ahead and take this and that one. All right. It's going to think. Yes, I will. Okay. There. Looking and at what you're leaving behind. Yep. All right. So that looks like eight to me, so that'd be an eight-pointer. Right, right. You're killing me on the big, uh, That's, I, you know? The big points. I'm trying. I'm going to have to get greedy, too. So there's that, and I can place two shrines because it's black. Mm -hmm. So I will go ahead and throw those puppers right there. Sure you only place one of them on the third floor there? Um, it's worth one extra, but it's I make up the point in gotcha, this, so gotcha. it's six and one half dozen okay. the other, and I might be able to build that up higher later for something else, well, so we'll see. Still would only count as three, though. Understood. Cool. Understood. Unfortunately. Right. All and right. Because then it would become Jenga. How tall can you build yeah. it and place a, that place be, a shrine That would be a bad top. thing. Right. Uh, let's grab some green. Hmm. Dragsville. Well, we'll grab this one. I guess it comes with a shrine. <laughs> Doesn't have any friends, huh? No, no. All right, so there are three tiles that are two levels high now. That's this one, this one, and this one. Mm -hmm. And by this one, I mean there are only two left. Oh, all right. That one and that one only. I know which one I would like. So this will go ahead and let's go ahead and pop that up. So that's going to be a two-pointer. There. Okay. And yeah, you guys can still see that. So <clears> there we go. And I can place... Oh, shoot. I did it again. Oh. Didn't I? Hold on. Hold on. Put the points back. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I keep forgetting. You have to have shrines. Well, it's a good idea. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'll grab this green one. And uh, much like his other green friend... <laughs> has no friend. Comes with a shrine. Unless I wanted to spend a shrine, but... Man, that's an interesting choice. Let's spend the shrine to get this green one and any other green one that's legal for me to take. It will shall be this one. Oh, why? There was a pairing. No. I, uh, what I got to do here to match your greed is not <laughs> screw up <laughs> and force a consolidation here. Uh, so. Um, so I need a shrine. So you know what? Yellow. Yellow can only place one shrine, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got to take that black. You got to have that black I, one. I have to have that black. So it'll be this one. And a shrine. And I would love to take that, but I cannot. So instead, I will take a shrine. There's one of these animal spirits that lets you take a tile 
even though its narrow side is only available yeah, to okay. That one's cool. tactically interesting as so well. And we will put it right there. Done. Cool. All right. Yay. So I'll now we are on the, um, all the tiles are on the bottom floor. Yes. So the fourth action comes, all right? So like you think you're winning, you, gra you start taking dragon tiles. But just bear this in mind. You took this dragon tile and you got two points. The other player closed off this and got eight points. And all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, sudden your swing. lead just right. You know, so <laughs> you have to be a little bit careful, right? Uh, so let's see. Are there some greens that I can take? Look at this green and this green. Yep. Mm, man, like maybe we need to get go ahead and solve the greed now too, right? You know, if you don't, it makes my choice easier. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that sounds like uh, six points. It sir. is. And I can put one shrine, so I'll put it here. Thank you for the points. You're welcome. And it is your play. So I have a question mm -hmm. because I'm, this is one of those, it, not really an edge case, but one of those to where I'm not positive. If I take this one, does that open yeah. that one up? Because now it that's, does. okay. It's free. It's long side is there. Okay. That's what I meant earlier, where sometimes you take a tile, it frees up another. And I will take that one, though, I think. Nope, I will not. We'll take that one. All right. So, again, with it being yellow, only one shrine. So that will go there, and that'll go there. The shrines are burning a hole in your pocket. Now, is this in addition to? No, that's no, a separate action. That is your action. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at six there. Six is another nickel. But you have a long time when it turns yellow from which to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So I can place one shrine. That one shrine will go right there. Wow, that's risky. That's risky. Oh, sure. Let's just go ahead and start getting into some reds. Let's grab this red and this red. And let's put there and uh, there. Okay. Really? Okay. Dun, so, dun, dun, dun. I basically have two turns. Not necessarily. That could have just been to throw you well, off that, your game. That could have been a, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Keep you on your toes. So sir. let's see. If I take... Oh, that's fantastic, Jeff. Awesome. Those two. Good stuff. Got a game of 46 lined up. Nice. Thanks, uh, yeah. Unrelated to current game. This yeah, is a train game. Right. <laughs> Not. I'm like, that's that's a stretch even for you. For me. Right. Well, let's grab these two reds. Because let's see, if you take that, I get a, I get a turn, right? Because you're the first player. So we're going to put one here and one here. So that's worth up to five points if you take two reds. Which right now, you could not. So you could take one and a shrine. One would be worth three points. I'm looking at that. That and, would give you a shrine on a three-point level. Understood. That'd be 25 for you. And I have 33, it looks like. Plus, I would get the extra two. All right. The math makes sense to me, sir. So as my final, we'll put that in there. Uh-huh. So that's a group of uh, five, right? Yep. So that's going to be three points. Good, sir. Three points. And my, my final shrining. All right. Cool. So now uh, we go in. Welcome, William. Just in time for final scoring. So the game has ended. The game is because now over. I this I took this to let you know the game's going to end when we all take the same amount of turns. Mm -hmm. You took your turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. These don't matter. Okay. All right. So how many uh, shrines or points do you have for your shrines? Okay. So. Level one, so that's one point. So one, two, three. This is a two, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points for that. There you go. I have two, four, six, twelve, eighteen. Okay. Here's a two for twenty. For twenty. Okay. Mm. If I can get those out of my hand. Okay. All right. And then, um, don't forget to add your dragon tiles when you try to. So let's go ahead and count this. So All right. So I'm looking at four, eight. 
eight, yeah, right? I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, also eight. Okay, so there's two, and I'll get ten, All right. and you get eight, F five, and five three. And three. And that is final scoring, correct? And that is final scoring. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 51. And I'm looking at 10, 20, 30, 40, 46, 40, 52. And you're dragging 52, trial. 56. Yeah. 56 me to 51. To 51. Hashtag good teacher. Hashtag good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you ended it at the right time. I, and I thought so. I yeah. It felt like it was, it was the right time. So, okay. So... So we'll start out. There we go. So this gives me now. I don't. You've played Azul, yeah, right. This gives Love me. Azul. This gives me a similar, and not because they're tactile tiles like that, but I feel like just the abstract nature in the way that the players are in control of uh, both placement as well as timing of the game. I feel like those two kind of give a similar-ish feel. Different sure, game, sure. Yeah, but yeah. Di uh, but a similar mean. feel. Mm -hmm. Um, which I really enjoyed my plays of Azul so okay. far, and we streamed that, and this is similar. I, the thing that really, hand me the rule book real quick, the thing that actually really, really appeals to me on this, and again, this being my first play, is, where is it here? There you go. Is that, all the different makeups that are available for the tiles. Invent your own. Yeah, and yeah. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It doesn't overstay its welcome. I would argue that I think I would like it to go a little bit longer than it did. It certainly could have. You could have added one more. Well, you, I guess you could do that. You, right. You could you but, could just add one more here, right? But like players are in control. Sure, sure. Right? I could have drawn it out more. Right. But I felt like it was a good time had a good in which I was lead. going to win. Absolutely. Right. And so that that made sense. But but yeah, so how about you? I mean yeah, I like the game. The first time I played it, I was like, it was the basic game. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right. So the difference is those two right. go away? Right, so there's no okay. extra scoring and no special action. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I was like, okay, whatever. And then we played it with that. And I was like, okay, that added a nice little something to it because these are different every game. Right. And so, you know, their use and their ability just affects your tactical decisions. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and the dragon one can even make you do different weird things on your on your realm board as well, you know. So, well, but, and I feel like that caused us different placements yeah. because of that. Yeah, agreed. But, you know, the after you know three, four, five, six plays and stuff like that, right? Like me and Robin, or me and my friend Matt, you know, it, we we're like looking. You know, I was like, if I take this one, that frees them. Right. Exactly. It's like we're sure. thinking yeah. about stuff, you right. know? Because you're you're not only right. just playing your game, right. you're playing the other the players. The thoughts of like, if I take this one, well, the, can I be greedy and get these two next? You right. Know, you know, and Tony's like, playing green and unlocks that green one. So do I do that or is there a better play? Do I just take one and take a shrine and stall? And yeah, no, I, I totally see that. Yeah. 100%. So, wow. That, yeah, that was... That was very quick. Shane. And this or Azul? Yeah, right? see. Why only, choose? Only. <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> I have both. I love both. Um, They're different games. Hmm. It, like, if I could only get one, I'd probably do this because of the variability. Azul. Azul has two sides of the board. With a caveat, I've only played Dragon Castle once today. Uh, and I think I would go Azul. Don't. I think, although it's not like, oh, cut and dried, no doubt. Like, yeah. I enjoyed them both, and, you know, yeah. there's a very real chance I might end up picking up Dragon Castle. This is Tony's copy. But for me, I like, I like the, uh, what is it, like, um, I, like, I cut, you choose me uh, mechanism, you know, mm -hmm. to where, which mm -hmm. you, you have in Azul. I really like that. I'm more attracted to that than I am sure. the Mahjong aspect of this, but that's not to discount this. I thoroughly enjoyed my play of it. I think for a thinky filler, which is what this and Azul both kind of fill that same niche. Yeah. Um, I think whichever would appeal to you more, honestly, because I could see the depth of this, both in the, the replayability of the different designs, as well as the variability of the dragon and the uh, animal. And the animal. Um, I think there's a ton of replayability there, and this plays well, although you said you like it, with, uh, you like it less with more players. Right. Um, 
with Azul, I, I think it scales well as well. And yeah, I think it'd be six of one half dozen the other, honestly. Yeah, I think Azul and this have the same scaling conditions, environment or whatever, where it's, you know, a little bit more chaos if you add a third or a fourth player. Exactly, yep. In terms of what's coming back around, right? So it, it's You more, have less control. Right, there's a little more reaction than um, greed and pushing your luck and, mm -hmm. and being tactical like right. there is in a two-player version of it or a three-player, you know, and then, a, and then the four-player, so. Yeah, so... Yeah, I would say whichever one appeals to you more, but I would I would put them very similar as far as both weight, as far as a lot of things. A lot of things. Like yeah. How they play at two, three, and four in my mind. And just is all the same. Yeah. So there you go. So check them out. Um, the variability. And uh, Kalel asks, uh, Have we played any of the GIF games, which are the abstracts? Yeah. I haven't. I've seen them plenty of times, and I saw. The latest one in the series uh, at Origins, how everybody ran to the booth to go get copies of that. Oh, is that right? And that came out. But honestly, have not. Not saying we won't, just saying we haven't yet. All right? Does Azul work better three and four than this? Same in my mind. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Again, it's kind of a, you're adding more chaos and you have less direct control because in this and in Azul, if you add more players you have the board changes considerably, mm -hmm. whether it's the, the, the pots of tiles in Azul mm -hmm. or whether it's the actual board in this. And with two, you only got to worry about, okay, I'm doing this. I think Tony's going to go for that, so that frees this up. And it's a whole lot more to factor that in because you don't know, especially when you get at in that third or fourth player. Okay. The only thing I would say about this game at three or four versus Azul. Because Azul, you put, the, um, you put the blocks back in the bag when you run out, right? right? And this, there's 116 tiles. The, the end. So like two player, I might get you know, 55 tiles if we played to the bitter end. Fair enough. And a four player, that might be 30 tiles if we played to the bitter end. Right. <laughs> you know, that's, so. a, that, that's actually so a really good So things are more point. accelerated on here. Okay. You know, so less time for greed. <laughs> so and greed be, is good. Be be uh, tactfully greedy. Back right. back to the eighties. Greed is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, awesome guys. Well, we appreciate you all joining us. Uh, if you liked it, like and don't forget to subscribe. You'll get reminded whenever we go live. We also do our weekly look aheads every Sunday to give you guys a heads up what's coming the following week. Um, and as well, you can support the show like the six hundred and thirty eight patrons we have at pledgehc.com if you want to. Take that extra step and support what we're doing here at Heavy Cardboard. So, Tony, thanks a lot for teaching. All right. Thanks for indulging me. It's yeah. uh, it's not the heaviest thing in the world, no, obviously, but, but thinky filler. I think it's That's, a good thinky filler. So. I, I do too. Two uh, players, real quick. Yep. Yeah. So we'll be back. Actually, the same two of us will be back for eighteen sixty on Friday, ten a.m. A little bit heavier. A touch. touch. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Bye, guys. <laughs>